Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ravenshire Hobby Plays, Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. This time, we are going to be doing the case, The Cleaning Crew. Yes, yes we are. It's a crew that cleans. Yes. Ha ha! All right. All right, let's continue. What's on the docket for... Love what you've done with the place. Very airy. Uh, wait. Where's my desk? Yeah, I think I'd be more concerned with the stuff that was in the bottom drawer. You saw those? You tell me, HB. What might be wrong with this little picture of yours? We're going zen. We've been robbed. I finally made partner. Hmm. What's your I, thoughts on this matter? Uh, uh, why is everything missing? Um, we're going zen. And what is being zen? A bit being a partner in life with yourself. Yes, it obviously They're partner. Moving me to a new office. I made partner. <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? No. Hmm. All right, I think you might have been right, Panda. Let's try that one. I like Zen. We're going Zen. Very minimalist. I like it. Nice. That'll cut down on all that silly we've been robbed fuss. I don't know. This is really tough. I'm not sure what to, which one to pick at this point. I am a partner. Mm. Peanut, we've been robbed. <gasps> you think? Let's not be hasty now. Hey, I'm just happy they didn't get my computer. Or this stack of money. Some of that stuff was irreplaceable. My mask balm was in there. My big box of rubber bands. <laughs> oh, God. Jackie, give me the police department. Jackie? Let me use your computer to email Jackie. It, hey, why wasn't your computer stolen? Uh, uh blind justice? <laughs> do we really need to involve the cops in this? Hmm, if not the police, who'd do it? Go ahead. I'll take the case. I see. I think we need to examine our, our stuffs, like the money. A stack of cash with no one's name on it. Finders keepers. Besides, it's in my office. Wonderful. A stack of Benjamins. And they fit perfectly in my pocket. Like they say, if the money fits, keep it. Even if Peanut did say it was his. Hmm. What's the shaky thing? I mean, that seems important, which is why I'll save it for last. It looks like someone has dropped a ring of keys with a yellow tag. A pair of car keys with a yellow tag. One for the door and one for the trunk. Or maybe it's one for the door and one for the ignition. Wait, maybe one is a house key or a safe key. Very interesting. Hmm. This appears to be a triple duper grande coffee cup. That makes me thirsty for scalding liquid. <laughs> a used coffee cup. Great. Just what I want to do. Carry garbage around with me all day. Good thing the cup is empty, or else I may have burned myself when I put it in my pocket. Eat in your pants. 
Wonderful. Perhaps I should move to another location and look for more evidence. Never. A massive tapeworm? No, it just looks like part of my phone, but where is the phone? And where's my intercom box? Jackie! I think somebody stole Jackie. A safe? Who would have known all these years I had a safe behind my bookshelves? Now if I could just find some TNT to blow it open... Oh, it's Inchai Private Eye! I love Inchai Private Eye. Whoa! Inchai Private Eye! Tied up in a- tied up and gagged on the floor of my room. Kinky. There is no way I'm taking the case. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, same thing. Missed it by an inch. A private eye of the smallest stature, inch high has served seven and seven on a number of occasions. Kinky. It looks like someone left their death ray just sitting in front of my window, completely ruining my spectacular city view. It is a death ray. Hmm. X's death ray machine pushed in front of my office window. Not only is this device dangerous, it's a terrible eyesore. Present. Mm. Can you examine the death ray? Push the button. Which one? That one? Yeah, put the coffee cup in it. A fourth power circular tube. slot uh, for some type of power tube. Looks lonely. I know exactly what to do here. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Okay, well, let's keep examining stuff then. A massive breaker switch, set in the off position. No wonder this thing is so quiet. Let me just flip this bad boy to the on position. Oh, wonderful. This is the part of the machine that fires the death ray. Better stay clear of that thing. A giant ominous red button. I wonder what it does. Oh, look at that, my finger slipped. Let's see if coffee goes well in there. That's what I would do with it. Coffee goes well with everything, sir. Nope. Try the keys. Does inch high private eye go well in there? <laughs> Good. No. Alright, try the keys, though. Like, this will just move on for now. Yeah. And he's naked. He's under that coat. He is naked. So he's a superhero. Yes. Hold it, officers. I'm a superhero. Kind of. So you're an unlicensed vigilante? Uh, yeah. I'm also a lawyer. You're not helping. <laughs> Secret squirrel is a squirrel. And squirrels are sneaky. Therefore, he is a client. His name is Clint. His name is Clint. It's Clint Secret the Squirrel. You okay. Can't arrest him. He's a spy. No, I'm not. Oh. I'm not a spy. Yes, you are too a spy. Why are you disagreeing with me? <laughs> hey, Harvey. How about keeping that down some before the secret part of Secret Squirrel loses all meaning? Hmm. Is Clint? <laughs> Wait, I'm an attorney, and he's my client. Yeah, he's my... Wait, what? What are the charges? Robbing your office. Take him away, boys. No! <laughs> I don't do well in tight spaces with lonely men. 
Hmm. Let's examine. This appears to be a lubricant for superheroes sensitive to facial chafing. It comes in a small, convenient tube. Nice. It seems that secret secret squirrel dropped this full tube of mask balm. Just my luck, seeing as someone stole mine. Wait a second, is this mine? Does does my face smell like this? Yes, is the answer. Okay. Check trash can. Clues always hide in garbage cans. Dirty, dirty little clues. Just as I suspected. The coffee cup on Peanut's desk came from Javalux. Also, just as I suspected, this trash coffee cup is disgusting. Ew. Wonderful. This is critical to the case. Yes, it is. It turns out that this coffee cup is from Java Lux. Now, if only I could find someone that drinks Java Lux coffee. Good old sizzling Java Lux. Don't tell Apache Chief. That's how he burned himself. Java Lux. I cannot believe they are still in business after all the money they paid in lawsuits for scalding laps and caffeine induced comas. I like this place. Wait, is that more evidence? It was. It was. What was in there? Let's see. Fortune cookie. A stale fortune cookie. Probably not safe to eat. The fortune has three numbers separated with hyphens. Hmm. What could this be? Two, fourteen, eight. Uh oh. Oh. Anything else? Yeah, I think I've had enough dumpster diving for today. Besides, I can only carry around so much stuff. I don't believe in you anymore. Present. Fortune cookie. Nope. That's a shame. Uh, see, can you go in? Can you examine the place to go in? No. No. I guess we're done here. We'll go to the entrance. Flat one. I am so glad I looked in there. This appears to be a hobo bathroom. Male. I'm so glad I looked in there. This appears to be a hobo bathroom. Female. Oh, the females, yeah. Yeah. I suppose you want me to pick up this disgusting greasy bag with a pair of child shorts stuffed inside, you friggin' weirdo. I found something. What's this look like to you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, were you saying something? It's a greasy bag attached to a child's boxer shorts, and it's under pieces of my intercom, which means... Beep, whoever stole the stuff dropped the boxer slash bag. Beep. Right. Don't be shy. Get up close and do some examining. Well, the first way you examine things is with taste. That's the most important of smells. Okay. There's something familiar about this. Hmm. This grease smells like... Peanut oil. Is that in the bag, too, or just the boxers? Hey, they're not mine. That's not enough wrapping for my package. Package! Special delivery! Take it to the back door! Delicious. A small pair of children's boxers stuck to a paper bag. It looks like both objects are covered in peanut oil. How cute. The boxers have tiny little acorns on them. Jackie here, what do you need? This is the broken intercom box from Harvey's office. It is broken, obviously dropped. But it still seems to work somehow. Mmm. Magic. Or that. The front door intercom. I wonder if this thing even works anymore. Stick it, Birdman. Oh, I guess not. Can you can you search the uh, AOL Time Warner Company thing? This to is see if all that, I can do to see if that merger was a good idea. It wasn't. Okay. Yeah, that's all we got. 
Uh, can't look for Intercom, intercom action. Yeah, I know. That was, yeah. that would have been amazing. Yeah. I guess um, back to the office. Someone's here. Maybe I should talk to them. Well, oh, you no. could, but we've been robbed. You too? No, we, as in the bird team. Oh, yeah, right. Have you found any clues? Well, I have this triple duper grande coffee cup from Java Lux, which I found on Peanut's desk. Couldn't that just belong to Peanut? Well, he's an ex barista. He grinds his own. Ha <laughs> ha! Coarse grinding. I also found these boxers and this greasy bag trapped under my intercom, which uh, lay shattered on the sidewalk. Plus a set of car keys and this stack of money. Oh, and this. Think it could mean something? Of course. So, for evidence, we've got a greasy bag slash pair of boxers, a coffee cup, a set of keys, a stack of money, and a death ray console that runs on tubes. I'll round out the suspects and see you at the jail. You, the object of my wrath. Really don't have time for this now. Hey, love what you've done with the place. Very minimal. Now, if you need furnishings, just let me know. I sell a bunch of stuff online. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Hey, I lost a couple of things recently. Uh, let's see here. One was a calfskin glove. I haven't seen it. Ah, uh, shucks. Oh, and I left my death ray somewhere. It's right there by the window. Lock up when you leave. That being said, I think I know where he gets his uh, goods. Where? Armstrongharbor.com. Oh. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So, uh, our presents. Nope. Oh, what's this updated? Nope. Same thing. No, no, no. Y you just, it uh, unlocked a new location is what happened. Did it? Yeah. Okay. What it, it helps if I read. Eh. Let's move. Prison entrance. Huh. I'm looking forward to this part. Oh, hey, Magilla Gorilla. Yeah. Go go talk to Magilla. I'm going to examine stuff. So. Oh. It looks like Bird Girl brought Magilla Gorilla in for questioning. He already looks guilty with that big, dumb face. Magilla Gorilla? You? We're just questioning him right now. Technically, he's a person of interest. Don't you mean gorilla of interest? Can you tell us Ugh. where you were last night around midnight? That's easy. I stopped to get a triple duper grande at the Javalux on my way back to the pet shop. Wow, that's a lot of caffeine. Well, I'm a lot of ape. Unfortunately, I spilled most of the coffee on me and got a bad burn. That gorilla got grilled. It's bad enough when he does the puns. Please continue. I stood straight up, and the burn set in that way. I couldn't sit down all day. But you're sitting now. I spent the morning putting ice on it until I turned purple. I guess that made me a grape ape. Uh, I think someone else holds the trademark on that. Show him the evidence. That'll break him. Um, what evidence? The evidence that links him conclusively to the crime? The evidence our whole case against him is based on? I could do that. The fortune cookie. Or I could keep talking to people. Okay. Oh, I don't want to go back. There we go. Secret Squirrel. I would bet his big secret is that he robbed my office. I should question this guy. Secret squirrel? You? You were there when they arrested me. Just questioning. Oh. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything wrong. You stole from me. Stole what? You don't have any evidence to prove that. Don't give him a present of fortunes. For new cookies. Mm. Car keys. Wrong. Oh. Mask bomb? When the police arrested you, this fell out of your trench coat. I didn't mean to. Wait, that's my mask bomb for my dry chap mask eyes. Oh, I I get chapped eyes for my mask too. I I guess anybody could have bought that. This is ridiculous. I've been good. 
I followed every term of my probation since you failed to get me off on those flashing charges. You were caught on tape. I didn't say I didn't do it, just that you failed to defend me. Midnight last night, do you have an alibi? Sure. I was on a stake out at Javelux. Heard there might be a gorilla that was scalding himself for insurance money. Have any luck? I struck out. Nothing. Silch. Nada. I got too hungry, so just before midnight, I grabbed a bag of nuts and went home. These nuts came in a bag? A bag of nuts isn't a bag of nuts without a bag, Birdman. That links you to the crime scene. How? Hmm. Oh, money? Yes, because like he had money. to buy it. I like money. Yeah. Um, oh, mask bomb. We did that one. Uh, oh. money. I like money. Okay. Money. Oh. It's not money. Oh. Boxers? Yes, because when you eat nuts, you're only supposed to wear your boxers and nothing else. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't we matter found where this you wear them. my intercom right in front of 7 and 7. That could be anyone's. What about these? Ah, my boxers. We'll see you in court. Agent Triple Zero at your service. Secret, uh, secret squirrel, triple digit spy, just recently finished serving probation for indecent exposure charges. He loves gadgets, lady squirrels, and walnuts. Hmm. Nuts from walls, you say? Yeah, all of the nuts we found go, were on go floors. Go back to McGilla Gorilla. I yeah. don't trust that ape. I shall move to McGilla. No. Mm. I shall yeah, examine they... him once again. Give him something. So give him a present. Uh, fortune cookie. Yeah. No. Yeah, fortune cookie. Coffee. Coffee's good. <laughs> this I like coffee, coffee too. Huh? It, it can't be. Maybe, maybe the bad burns put me in a state of confusion. If I were a fish, I'd be guilty. I'll see you in court. Sorry. Did it. Mr. Peebles had a bird contest at the store. He said there were no perches necessary. The oversized ape loves coffee, but not just any old brand. He loves Java Lux. The bigger the better. His owner, Mr. Peebles, tries to keep McGilla's caffeine consumption to a minimum. People try to do that to me too. Eh, to no avail. I imagine coffee shops were oh, not. Oh, we can talk. Okay. Talk. Wait, there's a third suspect, X. Aren't you going to question him? See what he knows? Oh. Uh, who? I don't know who X is. I don't have any answers. X who? The Eliminator. Your arch nemesis. The guy in the magenta hood. Mm, not ringing a bell. No. Why would he be stealing stuff? He wants to I've kill me, not steal right stuff. Here. That's already two whole more people than I usually have. Huh. <laughs> the police gave me his home address. You want me to go visit the home of the guy who spends his every waking moment trying to steal my crest? Ha! I'd be better off sleeping with the rats. I guess we're going there. And with this... Do you want to see us next time? That's up to you.